Hello everyone, we're not dumb, it's Chemically Bonded just yet, we still have to do our things with Sai. So let's go ahead and continue. So you two really became friends, huh? Why wouldn't we? Like-minded individuals think alike. Don't tell me you're jealous. I wouldn't have invited you here if you weren't my friend. You invited me here because you told me you want to go birthday shopping for Kyoko. So? What's wrong with that? Her birthday is in April. So is mine. Do you have a problem with us, Aries? It's... August. The early bird catches the worm. Whatever that means. With a huff, Naomi goes back to playing with her phone, leaving me inside together in a blissful state of pure awkwardness. So, Sayed, have you got any hobbies? If you're trying to hit on me, that's not going to work. I'm not trying to hit on you. Good. Of course I have hobbies. I just don't feel the need to tell you. I'm just trying to start a conversation. Start a conversation with somebody else. Looking towards Naomi, she about to look at disgust as she lifts her eyes off her phone. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Try your luck somewhere else. Uh, if you really want to know, I like puzzles, okay? Is that an honest answer, or are you making that up to stop me from talking to you? 100% honest, I swear. Anyway, the train is about to stop. Rising up from our seats, the three of us make our way towards the doors in the center of the carriage. Although my reasons for being here remain unclear, I should at least try to enjoy it. So, what are we gonna do? Standing in the midst of the city yet again, the three of us dawdle around aimlessly as passersby skirt around us. Like statues without a clear direction. The longer we stand here, the more painful things continue to get. That's a really good question. You didn't have an idea? Normally, you're the one who thinks of these things, right? I'm not going to that fucking cafe again. I thought you liked it there. I do, but sometimes it's nice to go somewhere else, right? What about the arcade? Like the right? That sounds like it could be mildly interesting. You want fries with that? I didn't know the arcade sold fries, but I am pretty hungry. They don't. She's joking. I know. I was joking too. Sarcasm is the word you're looking for. Shut up is the word I'm looking for. That's two words. Shut up. Fine, we'll go to the arcade. Be sure to win something though, alright? It's not like she'll let me leave if I don't. Heading into the arcade, the flashing lights and sounds of games in the distances creates a humble atmosphere of fun as we stand at the entrance, looking around for things to do. So, what's your plan exactly? My plan? I think she wants you to win something for her. She said that on the train, right? <laughs> I can win something on my own if I want it. I'm always a winner. In terms of track, that can't be doubted. As the captain of the team and the school's superstar, she really is a winner. 
Well, that's given that look on her face. It doesn't seem like she's too confident about making any gains today. You want a prize, right? I just want to make sure my money isn't wasted, okay? But you haven't spent anything. I don't care. She doesn't care. Thanks, Miss Obvious. With the two girls giving me piercing stares, we begin the rounds of nearby machines in an attempt to walk away with the prize. Something we're bound to pay half paid way too much for what these things are usually worth. You can't go on that one! It says prize every time. Isn't that what you wanted? A prize? If you have to rely on handouts, what sort of man are you? Says the one using my money to have fun. Look, here's a game that's more up your alley. Walking towards yet another machine, Sai points towards it with gusto as I take a moment to read the sign above it. Wheel of Fortune. Given that you're fortunate enough to spend your afternoon with two cute girls, surely you could test your luck with this. I don't exactly consider it fortunate. Looking at the machine, the reward for winning seems to be tickets. Spin the wheel and whatever lands on it is what you get. Simple enough. An array of numbers are spread around the wheel, each glowing brightly in the, the dim light. So, are you gonna give it a go? With the two girls now staring me down, almost jeering me to try it out, I succumb to their pressure and slip some coins inside the machine. In an instant, the lights continue to flash as a rhythmic tune plays. This machine seems to be compensating for something. I don't think that joke works in this situation. Still, I take hold of the wheel as the two girls continue staring on, almost as if they were genuinely interested in the outcome. Putting all my energy into the spin, Mamie huffs and looks quickly away as I'm disappointed in my attempt. Yet her eyes are quickly back up to the machine as it begins to slow down, bit by bit. Sai, as apathetic as she usually is, also seems slightly thrilled. In tune with the music, the wheel comes to a gentle stop. The three of us, all silent, look towards it in awe. 1,000 tickets. The grand prize. What? Is it broken? I think the only thing that broke was our expectations. More like your dreams? Hey, don't get funny with me just because you won. Th that's right! He won! He won! I did win. As we continue to stare towards the machine, a string of tickets flows out almost endlessly onto the floor. Grabbing a nearby ticket cup, Mamie crouches down and begins to scoop them up. Those aren't your tickets, you know. In response, she just glances back towards me and continues to claim the prize for herself. Not even a, a hmph. Pulling the final few tickets from the jaws of the machine, Mamie looks back towards me with a sincerely apologetic look across her face. Here. They are yours, after all. Stretching out her arm, Mamie passes the cup full of tickets. Our fingers brush against one another as I take them in my own hands. You know what? It's better if I earn something myself, isn't it? It's the same thing with track, after all. What? Did you think someone could have one track for you? You're the best there is! <laughs> it's not like I haven't thought about sticking a wig on Kyoko. I think you're going to need a lot more than a wig. Given Kyoko's... Anyway, it looks like she's gone to play whack a third year high schooler. I mean, whack-a-mole. 
Having left me and Sai together, all I can do is ponder over what to use these tickets for. It's not like I came here expecting a prize. Are you going to get something, or are you just going to stare at them? You know you aren't making this any easier. Hmm, actually, I won't go there. Standing by my side, Sai looks on with an unamused face. Although for her, that isn't unusual. Falling in my stride, we head for the nearby prize booth. An apathetic looking teen guards the counter, I bet he goes to our school. Well, mine and Naomi's, I can't comment, Sai. Noticing at the items on offer, I quickly spot something interesting and converse with the guy behind the counter. Sai, having taken the apathetic role from the clerk, dolls behind me as I take hold of my prize. A victory tune of certs plays in the back of my mind. So, what tacky prize did you get yourself? Myself? That's not who this prize is for. Huh? Passing my bag over to Sai, she quickly takes a peek inside before looking back at me with an expression glued between confused and flustered. This is for me? You said you liked puzzles, right? It's a jigsaw. You know I wasn't being serious, right? God f damn it, Sai is cute. How can you not love her? I figured. Having come back from her adventure, Namely appears behind Sai with an expression not sure they're bored. You know, I think I'm just about ready to go home. Did you run out of money? Uh, of course not! You know I'm nothing but a winner. Leading the way, Naomi heads out of the arcade into the now evening light. To be us ready to begin our journey back home. Sai, still standing by my side, gently taps my shoulder as I turn to face her. You know, you're not so bad after all. Thank you. Well, the graphics on this game sure are amazing. You paid how much for this? You don't have to be sarcastic, you know. I like this game. Sarcasm? I'm a gamer girl. Everything I say is 100% serious. Did you model your character on me? Yeah. Why? I, I think it's cute. What a creep. I thought it'd be romantic. You can tell that to the judge. I don't think that excuse will hold up in court. You're getting a restraining order? I look down from the screen to face the girl sitting at my desk. Standing behind her, her head turns to face mine. I can't be your girlfriend if I filed one against you. No, you're going straight to prison. I'm sure you can get by if I help you smuggle in narcotics, right? I'll visit you once a week. Once a week. This is how it all started. From seeing each other on a weekly basis to slowly getting this close over time. It's not the type of relationship you'd think it would work out. But here we are. Sai, the girl I fell in love with. Are you getting lost in thought again? I thought I told you people found that annoying. There's nothing wrong with being a little philosophical. But you're an idiot. Anyway, I need some help with beating this level. What happened to being a gamer girl? <sighs> she puts the controller down on the desk. Taking a break? Time 
said you, didn't I? This is spending time together, isn't it? I wrap my arm around her shoulders in an attempt to get my feelings across. If it weren't for her, I don't know where I'd be right now. Kyoko, Mayami. Spending time with them, I realize that I need to find someone for myself too. Someone to fight for. Someone to be there for. Who said you could touch me? At least that's how it's supposed to go. As it stands, I could fend out the world on her own. Yet she accepted my feelings. I pick the controller up from the desk and restart the level as she watches on with her curious eyes. I didn't realize you had hapophobia. Take the thesaurus out of your ass and just play the level for me. I jump around on the screen a few times out of habit before progressing on with the level. Sai, in her own virtual kingdom, taking on the world as she pleases. It's not too dissimilar to reality. She's always seemed a little disconnected from everyone else, but that's what I like about her. That's what I love about her. I continue playing the level, progressing past enemies one by one as I make my way through a mystical looking world. It really is a nice game. You really had a hard time with this? This is easy. She pouts and gives me another hmm. Basically a soda drinking, chip eating version of Naomi. I'm not sure how Naomi herself would feel about that comparison. If you're really that confident, why don't you just propose to me already? It's a bit early for that, isn't it? Would you even take that question seriously? It's not like I haven't thought about our future together. But right now, I think it's best we enjoy being young. Uh, of course I would. I'd say no, obviously. You're not trying hard enough to convince me. I tie my grip on the controller. Now I'll show you hard. Maybe I should file that restraining order if you're going to use lewd language like that. Despite her words, I step up the ante with Saya's virtual world. Her tiny avatar on screen gets to smite all sorts of foes under my command. I'm really getting into this. There. Done! It took a while, but the words on the screen clearly read level complete. It's an achievement we can share together. You know, I was joking about not being able to beat the level. You're still in the tutorial. Huh? Sagi so at what I can only presume is the bewildered look on my face. That's what it feels like. This was really the tutorial? Despite calling it easy earlier, the latter parts of the stage were somewhat difficult. Just how hard does this game get? Huh. You'll just have to find that out for yourself. Alright, I will. I continue on with the game, loading up the next level. This process continues as each level goes by, one by one. We would take turns, passing the controller back and forth as our fingers brush against one another. It's surprisingly central for what really is an everyday activity, for the gamer girl at least. Yet, it's this every day which I cherish. We end up beating the game. Well, we would be a bit of an exaggeration. I guess you did well enough. Fine, I'll let you marry. You're serious about that? I told you earlier, didn't I? Everything I say is 100% serious. I promise. The thing is, your promises always turn out to be jokes. I'm glad that's finally getting across to you. 
we have been together for a while. Sure, times like these together is certainly nice. It's getting late. You're kicking me out already? You don't want to head home alone in the dark, do you? N no, I wouldn't. There's one thing I have, it's the ability to exploit her weaknesses. As much as she teases me, teasing her is fun too. You better get going soon then. Of course, if I could, I'd spend more time with her. Uh, how about I stay here for the night? What? How do you expect that to work? Are you really ready to share a bed with me? Ew, no. You have a sleeping bag, right? I think so. There's probably one in the wardrobe. Is it clean? Of course it is. As I head towards the wardrobe, it begins rummaging around through my stuff. Knocking a few shirts out their hangers in the process. It really is a spectacle. Soon enough, the star of the show manages to pull out of my sleeping bag. To be honest, I don't really know why I have one in the first place. That'll do, right? It'll have to. The room continues to get dimmer slowly as the sun starts to set. Our day slowly coming to an end, only for us to anticipate another. I don't really feel like sleeping yet. We can stay awake for a while longer if you like. Sure. That'd be nice. I can't tell whether or not she's being sarcastic again, but I still smile. Saya so walks across the room and sits beside me on the bed. What? Oh, nothing. She stares at me with a stoic expression. Is there something on my face? She shakes her head. What? What is it? <laughs> Am I not allowed to think about things? Uh, about what? Sally looks down at the floor briefly before returning her gaze to me. About us. You know, I'm really glad I met you. I could say the same, I guess. You guess? Sai, so she doesn't look pleased, but her moment to just quickly returns to her previous reddened expression. Her breathing becomes ragged as she sits in silence, or twitching her lips as she prepares to speak. The sound of her voice, which I adore. I... I really think I love... I... I love you t too. W what? The world around me suddenly shifts as I rub my aching eyes. I... I was asleep? Where am I? You're on a train. I think. Uh, oh. That's right, you're on the way to the cafe. I'm sure that place is miraculous in the cash, considering how often we go there. It's like those games just keep having to reuse the same location to save on development costs. Like the one we played in that dream. I... Really had to tell her how I feel. The train begins to slow as we approach our stop. The city once again. The two girls stand up. They need to stumble behind them as I still recover from the events of that dream. It felt so real. Maybe that's why it hurts. I fall behind them as we get out the train.
Once again, we stand amidst the city, crowds of people bustling around us, going about their daily lives. It's a familiar scene. It's where we first met. I need to go somewhere. I'll be back shortly. That's certainly convenient. I think she needs to use the restroom. I think we've been over this before. If I were her, I would have waited until we got to the cafe. But now that she's gone, Sam and I can spend more time together. We really haven't known each other for long, but... Spending time with her really is enjoyable. Time is a valuable thing. I don't think I can keep these feelings inside any longer, but in the end it doesn't even matter. It's something I want to do. Now probably isn't the best time if it all goes wrong. That said, you only regret doing the things you only regret the things you don't do. Sire, I really need to ask you something. What is it? My birthday isn't for another week, and I don't really want any more puzzle. Will you go out with me? Here to join this side.